This is the best 20 by 20 stack on the market. The Heli Nation Talon Gigawatt stack will give you just that gigawatts of power for your five inch, six inch, seven inch quads. John here guys, and today we're talking about the new Heli Nation Talon stacks. Now, you've probably seen the Heli Nation Talon flight controller floating around on the scene for a couple of years now. That has long since been my flight controller of choice for all of my two and a half and three and a half inch builds, where I wanted to throw a lot of power of it at it. And I love the Talon boards because they had such great pad layouts. Um, that really made it easy on the builder. When you start building a lot of things, you really wanna go with things that are not just reliable, but easier on you when you're building, cleaner for your build to come together. And now they have their version two of the Gigawatt ESC. 1.20 watts, Gigawatts. What? What the hell is a Gigawatt? And golly, this thing is beautiful. Look at the polished, or adenized, <laughs> this shiny um, heat sink on the front. Geez, it looks like an Iron Man suit. I mean, whoa! <laughs> it's just stunningly beautiful. Uh, of course, the stack though comes with the Gigawatt ESC and the Talon um, flight controller. Now the Talon flight controller comes in a variety of flavors. Now there is a dual gyro version, an F4 version, an F7 version. My goodness. So there are an option of gigawatt stack for you, regardless of what type of flying you do. If you want to keep um, your budget low and build as many as possible, go with the F4. That's my personal favorite. Or if you want to go balls to the wall, get feed yourself to be future proof go with the F7 version, or if you want some experimental, super smooth things, go with the dual gyro. I love that they're coming out with so many options. The pad layout of this thing is just so great. And on these version two boards, um, they've changed it up. They used to have kind of the standard, just big pads, which I liked, um, but now they're going with these pads on the edge that have sort of that notch. That notch means you can just sink the wire or you know, kind of seat the wire right on there and oh man, that is gonna make for a clean build, easy to solder up. I love that they're thinking of everything here. Now one thing on this, you know, as they fit more and more components on there, um, the one thing you do lose is the silk screening on the board, which is, eh, I do kind of miss that, but it's not that big of a deal because you can easily look that up on the website and they have very clear diagrams on there. Um, this particular Gigawatt ESC comes with a diagram on the back that shows you all of the wiring and then for the flight controller, you're gonna wanna look that up. Now, this thing does come with some gummies for the ESC. The flight controller comes with gummies, it comes with a capacitor and an XT60. The flight controller comes with gummies and it has three different harness options. I like that the um, smaller one also comes with these little screw things. What are those screws for? Those are for you to be able to adapt your mounting screws from M2 to M3 if you're using M3 hardware, which is really nice. And then it also comes with an XT30. So that's really sweet, guys. I, a lot of these things are coming with everything you need so that you don't have to go hunting for that stuff. It also comes with a set of standoffs, which is really cool, and three harness options. Now, be very, very careful when you go to wire this thing up and make sure you have the right harness for the right um, ESC they're gonna be using. Uh, and that goes for any ESC on the market. Even if you buy one that comes with one, double check those connections. Sometimes the quality control on those are not the best and you're gonna have a really bad day if you plug it up for the first time and it toasts itself. So always double check that, guys. Um, so where does this fit in with FPV ecosystem today? Well, I happen to have one built up right here. This is a raging Drono 5-inch 
have the Heli Nation ESC and flight controllers stack in there. Oh, and since it's so red, I went with the red Foxwheel Lollipop 3 antenna and these Brother Hobby Speed Shield V2 motors. Oh my goodness, this has a tremendous amount of speed. And look at this multi colored layered uh, turtle mode fin pod thing for the Raging Droner. You can get that from Catalyst Machine Works. Johnny Fly is one of the top racers on MotoGP and he is running this stack. Uh, he is putting this 20 by 20 thing through an enormous amount of abuse. Now you may have heard me mention Johnny Fly on occasion and thought that I said Johnny Five thinking why is this ass talking about himself in the third person? No, Johnny Fly is a totally separate person. He is another Johnny up in Detroit and he is one of the fastest pilots in the world. I believe he's currently ranked in the top five or so on the global leaderboards. Now he has a YouTube channel primarily about racing and I sometimes imagine if we were to ever meet each other in person, it would be like that Spider-Man picture where they're both like, but no, we're totally different people. I can see how some people would get confused. It happened one time with some of the pyro team pilots. I think it was Olaf and C-Train couldn't tell the difference and they were getting us mixed up. So here are some tips on how to differentiate Johnny Five from Johnny Fly. So we both have YouTube drone channels. We both race. I believe we also both use Sony A7 series cameras for our channel, so they may have a similar look and feel. But Johnny Fly has the beard. Johnny Five, no beard. In a McDonald's people, we got this little misunderstanding. Hmm? See, they're McDonald's. I'm McDowell's. Huh? Now see, they got the Big Mac. I got the Big Mick. We both got two all beef patties, cheese, pickles, and onions. But they use a sesame seed bun. My buns have no seeds. Um, so if it works for him, it will work for you. Definitely works for me. I've been using these things for such a long time. Glad to finally feature them on the channel. My general rule of thumb, because the other 20 by 20 stack that I like to use today is the Emacs Magnum 2.1. So my rule of thumb is if you're using 2206 motors or smaller, um, you can go ahead and use the Emacs Magnum. But if you're using power like this, 2207 or larger motors, I would go uh, on the safe side, spend a little bit more, get the Talon stack, but Talon stack comes in combos. There are a lot of very nicely priced combo things that you can buy and save money. They also have links in the description below that you can use and codes to be able to save even more money when you get this thing. Remember the days a couple of years ago when if you wanted a premium ESC flight controller combo, you were spending 95, 100, 110 bucks. Now, if you want the F4 version, it's less than 80 bucks. Good Lord, how are they doing this? So cheap, outstanding. Um, so thanks for you know to Heli Nation for continuing to give us better, nicer, easier to build, more options, and cheaper alternatives so that you can keep yourself up in the air, whether you're freestyling or racing. 20 by 20 seems to be the new thing, guys. I'm slowly converting all of my fleet over to 20 by 20 because one, you save a little bit of weight. Um, two, everything is more enclosed in there. So in a crash and a hit, in um, <laughs> blades of grass landing on this thing, there's less area for it. Look how um, in the center it is. You can barely even see the stack when you're looking straight at the front of this frame. It is completely beautiful in its performance and beautiful in its aesthetics and design. Everything has been thought of to make building your quad a pleasurable experience and flying your quad to be adrenaline pumping rush without worrying about destroying everything in a crash. Now, as we all know, the timeline for all FPV electronics, <laughs> or on a long enough timeline for all FPV electronics, the survival rate for any component will drop to zero. But if you want that timeline to be extended as far as possible, go with the best. And 
in previous years, going with the best mint, breaking the bank. But Heli Nation is coming up with combo packs in order for you to get the top of the line electronics, top of the line gear for such a low price. It's, it's just mind boggling. And I love that they're continuing to, you know, this, I love that the system continues to evolve over time and it's just outstanding. It's the best guys. If you want the best, click the links in the description below. Thanks guys.